teachers welcome to my view board education this is me purnima on behalf of you sonic india and today in this video we are going to talk about the very basic fundamental subjects of science that is physics and chemistry and how you can use my view board and its original content to create your chapters you to create your content or lessons or even interactive quizzes uh, on physics and chemistry subjects so let's get started in this video you will understand the very basic tools of my view board and how you are going to use these tools to create very interesting lessons for your students so let's get started with the physics first now uh, when we talk about the fundamentals of physics the very first name which comes or strikes to my mind as a science student or as a science teacher is that of newton of course so in this video i am going to talk about newton's laws of motion and let's see how you can create some uh, original content on that now before i move forward i would like to show uh, how my view board has already created a lesson on newton's laws of motion and then i'll help you that how you can create or how you can change things around your taking ideas from that my view board originals so uh you can access my view board originals using this website link as you can see on my screen right now so here are a few topics which you can access on my view board originals and right now i'll just take you to this particular newton's laws of motion this this activity really intrigued me when i talk about the very basics or the fundamental concept so i have already downloaded it i'll just quickly open this board and we'll see how this particular board is designed so as you can see on my screen this is how newton's laws of motion you can get started with it and one by one i'll just take you to the slide so that you have an idea that what kind of lessons you can plan so as you can see it talks about newton's first law of motion and you can see the various figures animations are being used so this is the my view board original basic which is available for you to download and use now this is the complete slide now i'll create my own slide i'll create my own uh, lesson using uh, this particular topic only and let's see it will be something around on this area as well so i'll go to this file manager option i'll click on the new and i can select the option of save or don't save i'll select the don't save one for the time being and this is how my new blank whiteboard is open for me for my experimentation and creation so now first of all uh, you see there is a white background and that is by default the background we have in whiteboard in my view board but you have the option of changing the background and making it more interesting so you see at the bottom left corner background management option is there i select i can select the options from here and as you can see some pre existing pre loaded templates are here for me i can even change the background color if i want to keep it very simple otherwise i can go to my view board originals and here i'll find some subject related pre existing templates so you see while i'm talking about newton's laws of motion i already have a pre existing template here so i can change this background i can choose this one and uh, i can select whether i want to apply to this or to all pages i'll select only this page so it's kind of a presentation kind of thing or a lesson kind of thing which is very interactive you can select here now that's how i have changed the background of my introductory slide and now if i want to add certain text or titles i can do that using this t option here as you can see the t tool you click on it and you can add a text box so i can add as per my wish whatever font i want to select so that's going to be the topic for my presentation or for my subject which i'm going to take up newton's laws of motion 
this is something I want to talk about. Now I can change the font from here. I can make it look more bold or something. Okay, first I need to select the text and then after that I can select the kind of font I want. I think I, I would be happy with this kind of font. I can increase the size. Newton's laws of motion. You can further make it underline. You can change the color of the text as well. So for me, I feel that blue is the color I should be using. So like this, I can move my text box, text editor. And this is something I'm going to talk about. So this is how Newton's laws of motion I'm going to talk about in this particular slide. Uh, now to add new page, you can click on the plus button at the bottom here. You can see on my screen, I click on it and I get a new slide here. Now to keep the standard format of the template, what I can do is that I can go to the background management once again, go to my view board originals and I can select something similar kind of slide. Okay, uh, so I'm selecting if there is anything, I find something similar around it or yeah, I can see this my view board original kind of slide. So I should be using this one as you can see right now. Now what I can do is that I can add certain text about Newton as a scientist. I can inform my students that, uh, you know, who was Newton. So that's how I can import the text from the web. And how I can do it? I can take help of my embedded browser here, as you can see. So I have this embedded browser option. I click on it and we have the browser in the similar format, just like your Google Chrome. So it will just get loaded in a while. The Google search option is here. You can type about Newton here. And then you can copy paste or you can take a screenshot or you can simply use that data you get from your browser and put it here. Or I have this option of toggle. So I can switch between my Windows desktop as well as my whiteboard. It becomes convenient if I want to search something on Chrome browser or any other browser I'm comfortable with. So I click on this button and here I can select like this I can select. So I can see Isaac Newton's information about Wikipedia. I can simply, you know, copy paste this option here. It becomes very easy for me, very convenient. And once again, I switch back and I use the text button option and I can use this option like this. Okay, I need to select this one, complete. Right, so what I'm trying to do is that I'm putting the text here. And now uh, in whatever way you want to align your text, you can do it like this, like this, like this. So either way you can do, and I can, I, I can see that this is going very broad. So, uh, you know, you can make like this or you can remove the bullets. So if you want to put it in one line, you have to select it on your own. So like this, I can put, okay, uh, let me go to my view board, originals first. Yeah. So like this, I can put my text editor here. I can reduce the size. However, I wish, okay, it got minimized. Yeah, so like this I can do. So like this, I can put a little bit of information about Sir Isaac Newton here. I can talk about his background. Uh, there are some interesting elements like this, which can interest your students. Okay, this is uh, how Isaac Newton got the idea, the falling of Apple, you can use these images to talk about it. And in a similar way, you can keep on adding new pages. And like this, you can create your own content. So when I again go to the background management from here, I can select. Now from here, I go to my view board originals and let me select this page where I'll talk about the all the three laws of motions and 
if i want to talk about first one by one i can already work. so now next what you can ask while introducing newton and giving a brief introductory thing about the newton and the scientist what you can talk about him next to your students is the how many number of laws you think newton gave so you can take a help of this kind of whiteboard at the background and then you can use the pen option then you talk about one two and three those there are three kind of three laws of motion which are very fundamental to the present technological advancements which are there in the world and that's how you can talk about it you can keep on adding new slides here you go to the background management and from there you can select the kind of background you need to select and that's how you can add and go about with it now before you go ahead and talk about this thing about creating your content you can take help of our original contents also i'll just show you how so when i click on the magic box i have the option that i can embed any youtube video here so originals so this is the video which is available on youtube you can select this video from here of my view boards original and then you can incorporate it here on your whiteboard i'll just drag and drop it here so before i proceed with my complete chapter and with my complete topic what i can do is that i can uh, simply show a video first for the students to have to give them an idea what this topic is going to be all about so i'll just play the video for your reference so as you can see that here in this video right now uh, this was the template being made that types of forces certain animations were there and then you can play a small quiz with the students asking them okay which are the animations which go into contact forces which are the one which go into non contact forces so using the annotation option as well as the pen display option you can type or you can write even on your my view board and that's how you can your so this is the way you can go about with you can make use of magic box and you can import the my view board originals videos as well to complement your lesson and then i'll click on it once again and from here i can see that what kind of slides i have created so far i'll show you once i'm done with that presentation so this is how i can go about with the youtube video now during the video if you find anything interesting you can take a screenshot of that also i'll just show you quickly so this is something i found interesting right and just a minute let's see how my screenshot looks and then i'll move my yeah like this i can use if i want to talk about the very fundamental equation of newton's second law i can use this kind of screenshot in my video that this is something important then i can use the annotation text annotation button to show that this is important let me draw it in a proper manner like this like this you can talk about okay uh, so this was about physics subject and let me quickly run through you the basics of chemistry and how you can use the original content of my view board to create your lessons in chemistry which is again a typical subject in science but not to worry we have some interesting backgrounds even for chemistry i'll just show you quickly how in my view board originals if you click you'll find right now while i have selected science 
so you see there are certain preloaded pre-existing templates for example this is the template about states of matter now what i can do is that this is the template states of matter solid liquid gas i can take certain examples so for example if i want to talk about the kind of features of a solid matter i can write about it here and have a discussion with my students around it and the similar way i can do it for liquid for gas like this you can use this kind of template now i'll see another kind of template i'll go to the background management my viewboard originals once again and let's see some other templates which we have for chemistry so you see now you have this kind of template and this is a question to all the educators out there what do you think you can create around this one this is very simple and this is there in your ncrt syllabus also a science experiment this is related to rusting of iron so i can create my content around this as well so let me just you know write a topic for it rusting of iron like this you can select the text make it a little bit bold like this and that's how i can talk about the experiment then you can run the annotation over it and then you can talk about this is the first step second step third step fourth step like this you can talk about what kind of chemicals are there that's how you can talk so this is how you can use another background from this chemistry subject and then i go to my viewboard originals and then one more i like to show so we have some pre loaded or pre existing templates related to your periodic table as well as you can see on my screen and then there is this uh, okay let me select a new page yeah so this is the table which uh, this is the template which i have for ph scale i'll just using this infinite canvas i can move my scale anywhere on the screen and i can even reduce the size however i want on my screen right now like this and that's how i can create a short lesson for my students around acidic neutral alkaline that's the very basic part of chemistry the matter and how they are divided on the basis of their property so what you can do here is that you can use shapes and lines tool here to click on the bottom option you can select the kind of uh, rows and columns or the kind of table you want to select now so this is the one i liked and i can make the changes in it as per my convenience the reducing the size like this and i can move it like this here now what i'm trying to do is that i'm creating a small table where i can fill in the information about number some examples of acidic content now i can what i can do is that i can simply copy this one uh, you can see the option you click on this image you click on this you can see the option of copy and then here you can replicate it okay uh, let me just show you quickly how i just double click on it so when i click on that copy i can simply use control plus v and then i can put my copied objects the similar objects here and now i can fill in the text with the examples so for example the very basic example which comes to my mind water is a neutral element and in a same way you can see for example hcl hcl is the element you want to put in acidic so that's how you can put here in acidic you can put NaOH let me type so you know in this similar manner you can also create any kind of 
content around chemistry subject of course there are the very basic features these are the additional add on features which will make your content more enriched and engaging for your students so it's always a good idea to add that extra element to your chapters it definitely helps students to associate things better and especially for the uh, subjects which require logical thinking rational thinking like science these kind of activities or these kind of content creates a long lasting memory or long lasting imprint on their minds which they can easily recall while they are appearing for their examinations or while they are even repeating or understanding the concept so that's why it's always a good idea to use these kind of interactive tools while taking education for complex subjects like science or maths so coming back to our scientific science topic of chemistry that's how you can make use of the mighty board originals background and from here you can select the kind of background you want uh, you see there are a number of backgrounds where you can try for physics and chemistry specifically and apart from this so i'm scrolling and showing you the different kind of backgrounds you can use so for example you can use this one as well we're talking about the chapter of heat so i'll just show you see you can talk about you know the good conductor and the bad conductor of heat and electricity using this template metal spoon wooden spoon so like this then you can take example of magic box if you want to add some music background music to your whole presentation or to one particular slide or if you want to use some pictures you have already downloaded you can make use of that and that's how you can create your content now free hand content if you want to create i select the new slide here here when i'll talk about it so for example in physics i want to use the pen option now i want to talk about the uh, series and parallel circuit so i can use my pen annotation option here and i can draw this kind of resistance diagram that's how even if you find that your diagram is not proper you can always make amendments in that like this so this is the series circuit i'm talking about here and then i can talk about the parallel one in this manner and what you can do is that you can select different color pen to show the battery the resistance r1 r2 r2 like this you can show this tool i particularly find very convenient and you teachers can also try series and parallel circuit so you can use uh, the blank canvas or the blank whiteboard like this use the pen annotation option here and even apart from that if i go to the select select a new slide what i can do is that i can go to magic box and i have downloaded certain ncrt textbooks so when you go to the download option my few of my ncrt books are already downloaded with me in the same way you can also do and you can export that ncrt book here on your whiteboard i'll just show you how so it's asking the layout i'll select i think i'll i'll keep the portrait one for the time being and like this for the chemistry i want to talk about pollution of air and water like this my whole pdf can be exported here so these are the different ways you can create your lessons in an in an easier manner for your students to understand while you are taking online classes or even for the offline classrooms so now this particular document which i have created so far i am just removing the extra pages so this is a mixed bag of physics and chemistry document which i have i have created i'll just quickly show you in the presentation mode now i'll go to the first slide so this is how you can also showcase this 
and right now while you can see that I am my video and me I am also getting recorded in a similar way you can also record your video your audio and you can show your students the presentation like this of any chapter you want to take them through with like this you can show the video will be played and this particular file can be saved in any format you will go to this file manager once again you click on this export option and here you can save this whole file uh, so for example if I want to save it in my desktop now I'll save it here in the format of PNG JPG PDF so if I want to save it in PDF format so I'll save it as physic chem like this if I want to save it in PDF format this whole file will be saved in a PDF format in a similar manner I can select the kind of format I want to save my PDF file in so uh, these are some interesting ways where you can create a lesson as well as you can create an interactive short quiz kind of thing with your students to make your classroom more hands-on you know you can ask students certain questions and they'll reply like this you can take classes with your students using my view board originals you can create your content so go ahead explore these content and while you are taking offline classes I would just show you how or online classes I would just show you how you can uh, you know use pen display so you saw me also has a pen display that helps in providing a new normal for portable teaching devices. It supplements your teaching while you explain the concepts by writing smoothly and accurately unlike other devices in the market. It's super light, easy to carry and comes with instant plug and play. It also works on all platforms making it convenient for all users. You can just click in the bio and know more about this portable device. ViewSonic also has its own exclusive educators community that you can see on the screen right now where teachers from different parts of the country are joined. So do join the group to help build the new teaching ecosystem that is the hybrid ecosystems of India. That's all about in this uh, particular video about physics and chemistry. Go ahead teachers plan your lessons using my view board and its tools and definitely you're going to rock in your classroom as uh, the pro of physics and chemistry teachers share your experience share your suggestions whatever you feel about it and what are the new ideas you have been using follow us on youtube on our facebook community where the teachers like you from all over india have joined us and are sharing their ideas around using my view board don't forget to like ViewSonic India signing off. Do share your thoughts in our comment section. Thank you so much. Take care. Happy learning.